No, I'm not doing I'm doing the uh, of the sign of Walmart. No, not of you. Not of you. I promise. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we had the we had the motherfucking Walmart, the beach nut between beach nut and Bissonette. And the reason why I'm recording is because Come all here. the carts. Come here. Hey, let me hey. see your ID. Hang on, hang on, hang on, sir. Nah, see your ID. No, 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 nobody has to show any ID, sir. Nobody what? has to show any ID, sir. Yeah, you gotta show the ID. Sir, sir. You're grabbing me? Are you serious? Calm down. Put it Calm down. down. Have you? Are you serious? You're about to tase me? Look, you're about to tase me? Get your hand off hey. me. Don't, don't tase me, sir. Don't tase me, sir. Look at this. What's wrong with you? Are you seeing this? Put that down. Sir, I am harmful. Put I am, it I am, down. I am, Put it I am not. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Don't resist. We're leaving. Me, the phone. We're leaving. You're not going anywhere now. We are leaving. You put sir, your hands on me, I and now you're not going anywhere. Captain, I didn't even touch you one time, sir. I haven't touched you one time. Let me see your ID right now. Please Let me see your ID see, right please. now. That's the cop right ID. there. Show, turn that off. It's off. It's not even Let me see it. Recorded. Give it to me. Sir, you don't have to take my phone. That's not. That has nothing to do with this. Hang on a second. I can pull out my ID. I can comply with what you're saying. I don't no, understand. you're not complying with what I'm saying. I don't understand why you're angry right because now. You I, you're because you're videotaping me, and I want to know who you are. Sir, I mean, I that's why I was videotaping the, the road. Hang on a second. I can pull out my ID. I can comply with what you're saying. I don't no, understand. you're not complying with what I'm saying. I don't understand why you're angry right because now. Because you I understand. because you're videotaping me and I want to know who you are. Sir, I'm not because they're all out here. here. I'm, I'm not even a hostile person. I don't even have a right. Yeah, you are hostile. I'm not. Because you're non compliant with me. I'm not. And I want to know who you are. Sir, I'm not. That's video why I was videotaping the, the grocery cart. I'm not even a hostile person. I don't even have a right. Yeah, you are hostile. I'm not. Because you're non compliant with me. I'm not here. I'm not even a hostile person. I don't even have a right. Yeah, you are hostile. I'm not. Because you're non compliant with me. I don't even have a right. Yeah, you are hostile. I'm not. Because you're non compliant with me. Non compliant does not mean hostile. It means non compliant. And I'm not being non compliant. Let me see your ID. Here's my ID. <coughs> Let me see your ID. I'm going to give it to you, sir. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, March 30th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is right here. It's ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Also on YouTube, ddarko2012 and ddarko2013. You put in your email here. Um, also, I have a news archive of all of the, or most of the videos in the past couple of years for GGN right there. So, um, also, all the headlines and links will be in YouTube's video description, so please check them out. Okay, so I'll go through some surveillance uh kind of war on liberty or sovereignty news on police state big brother news the spread of suspicious activity reporting suspicious activity reporting asks citizens to keep an eye out on their neighbors and it's spreading so it goes on there and gives the pretext about um how bad crime is and how you should uh, you know basically spy on your neighbor and it says, long before the New York, uh, or basically NYPD, was spying on Muslim students, the LAPD was running a large-scale domestic spy operation in the 70s and 80s, snooping on and infiltrating more than 200 political, labor, and civic organizations, including the office of then-Mayor Tom Bradley, today, as if they're not doing it. So they are doing it, just so you know. They're infiltrating all groups, especially with protest groups. Uh, today, the L A L LAPD isn't quite so aggressive, but it still employs a directive uh, titled Special Order 1, which permits police officers to deem what is suspicious and then act on it. So where things get murky, however, is how SAR guidelines categorize constitutionally protected, non-criminal, and commonplace activities, such as using binoculars, snapping photographs, and taking notes as indicators of terrorism-related activity. So it's kind of related to that first video that we just saw. And finishing up here with this article, the SARS are coupled with LAPD's iWatch program, a campaign the police pioneered to encourage regular citizens to report, quote, suspicious activity, including a person wearing clothes that are too big or too hot for the weather or things just as plain as don't look right. Moving on, and we know where this comes from, right? Secretary Napolitano announces, if you, say so if you see something, say something. Partnership with NFL for Super Bowl, right? So that was just one of their... Um, PR schemes that they were helped to uh, promote this. Uh, basically, it's a federal domestic uh, spy program. 
So the Department of Homeland Security is buying 450 million new bullets. So DHS and ICE, or Immigration Custom Enforcement Office, is getting an indefinite, indefinite, that's the big key word there, is indefinite delivery of an indefinite quantity of 40 caliber ammunition from defense contractor ATK. It says here that U.S. agents will receive maximum of 450 million rounds over five years, according to the press release on the... It goes on, it says that high-performance AS. HST, sorry, bullets are basically what? Uh, hollow point tips that pass through the barriers and expand for bigger impact without the rest of the bullet getting warped uh, out of shape. Says here they've also learned that the department has an open bid for a stockpile of rifle ammunition listed on the Federal Business Opportunities Network. They're looking for up to 175 million rounds of 223 caliber ammunition to be exact. It says here that this is almost exactly the same round used by NATO forces. So we do know that in the past uh, Department of Homeland Security has put in orders for uh, food meal packets which when I went back they actually canceled them uh, but they did uh, go and uh, try to uh, basically attain uh, fuel contracts and then also water hydration kits uh, those are still active but the one for food for the food is uh, not active so it just goes to show you when the, sh when the crap really does hit the fan they don't give a crap about you as far as food and stuff goes but they will have fuel for themselves uh, whenever this, quote, national emergency happens or if the economy just degrades to the point of basically uh, like Mad Max. So you can go in here and check it out. It's uh, basically more information covering this issue. One last thing I wanted to uh, point out besides the indefinite, um, basically the amount of ammunition they can sell is this. Despite the company's continuing successful efforts to increase production rates, the incoming order rate exceeds our capacity to rapidly fulfill these orders. Consequently, the company has temporarily suspended the acceptance of new orders. So let's not forget one of the first things that Obama did when he uh, got into office was what? what uh, he started to do uh, basically a policy where they hoard brass, expended ammunition in that. So TSA police worked together at Amtrak Station. Uh, agents at the Federal Transportation Security Administration conducted a joint security deal with the Alton Police Department in the city's Amtrak Station this week. Uh, we refer to as Viper Operations. Uh, that stands for Visual Intermodal Protection and Response. Real fancy wording for basically a Gestapo state. Uh, it was not in response to a specific threat. Well, there is, like I said before, there's, there, are, there never really is any threat. The only threat is made up by these people so that they can keep doing these things where they're taking away your freedoms, uh, especially when you're trying to travel or you're trying to conduct commerce, uh, the, especially those two things. But uh, two things that we are aware of as far as in the past that builds up to this is, one, is that uh, the Social Security office has been actually conducting exercises for uh, people when the checks stop coming and whatnot. Certain people get cut off uh, for riots. So they've been practicing uh, and having exercises for riots at the Social Security offices. But also the TSA has also been having uh, these Viper teams in Tennessee, actually on highways. So checkpoints in Tennessee highways by Homeland Security. So once they did that, that sets a precedence to do this crap right here. Just like the FBI informant, also known as the Christmas Day bomber, uh, Murak, whatever his name was, uh, basically he was an asset of the FBI. Uh, he had a handler that was uh, that's well known by uh, witnesses that were credible witnesses. They were lawyers and that uh, traveling. So this guy was definitely a, a false flagger, right? the underwear uh, bomber. And it was all for what? What came after that? Well, the body scanners. Now, as people are trying to get rid of them, what? It says here for uh, the London Olympics, body scanners to screen visitors at London live sites. Body and bag scanners will screen visitors at the uh, Olympics and airport style safety checks that organizers say could take up to an, an hour. So it says here, TSA bars security gu guru from perv scanner testimony. It says here, last minute excuse blocks Bruce Schneider. So the security expert was banned at the last minute from testifying in front of Congress about the TSA's much maligned perv scanners, a longtime critic of the TSA's policies, who was formally invited to appear in front of the Committee and Oversight uh, Reform, uh, basically, Council. In Hawaii, the Senate has passed a Traveler's Bill of Rights resolution aimed at curbing TSA abuses. The bill was passed unanimously on March 19th. Next, we have uh, TSA told us to lie about existence of security video. It goes on and says Broward County responded to my new lawsuit for abuse while kicking me out of the airport after I could, uh, would not let them touch my genitals.
It says here the county back in September denied that security tapes of him, the author, being uh, threatened by the TSA ever existed. He says the TSA informed the county that the subject CCTV uh, recordings at TSA checkpoints, including the mere existence thereof, constituted sensitive security information. So go in there and check that out. I'm going to keep moving. And we have read the FBI memo, agents can suspend the law. And it goes on, it says unique aspects of the intelligence professions it goes on and says authorities and responsibility that can affect lives in some cases directly under certain circumstances. The FBI has the ability to bend or suspend the law and impinge on freedoms of others. We often create ethical dilemmas for others and ourselves when we normally don't have the freedom to seek advice from outsiders. Trooper of the Year admits violating DUI procedure and now hundreds of convictions could be overturned. Lisa Steve was previously re uh, remanded after being caught on camera tasering a motorist who asked to call his lawyer. But it goes on and it says that she was named Trooper of the Year in 07 for making more than 200 DUI arrests. So good for you. Uh, it says here, could see her case overturned after she admitted violating standard procedure. So the officer admitted that she had removed her microphone and left in the patrol left in the patrol car during the incident so she could perform an unauthorized action, according to the news. Then moving on here, we have New York police officers defy order to cut marijuana arrest. So a survey shows nearly half of people charged with marijuana possession were not displaying the drug uh, when they were stopped. Police officers in New York are manufacturing criminal offenses by forcing people with small amounts of marijuana to reveal their drugs, according to a survey by public defenders. Moving on here, remember this story, Michigan father killed a marijuana child removal incident. And they were going in there because because police were enforcing child protection laws, not drug laws. But the only reason CPS was called in was because of the allegation of marijuana use. So the father was killed and the police was cleared. UK Queen accused of drug trafficking. Britain's financial regular has fined the British Queen's bank for money laundering failures, as French presidential candidate has said. Part of the Queen's fortune comes from drug trafficking. That was a fringe candidate in France who said that. He said the queen owed her fortune to drug money being laundered by the Jewish bankers in the city. Next up, war on words. NYC Department of Education wants 50 forbidden words banned from standardized tests. The word dinosaur made the hit list because dinosaurs suggest evolution, which creationists may not like. It goes on and says that uh, Halloween is targeted because it suggests paganism and birthday might not be happy to all because it's created by Jehovah Witnesses. So the word austerity, it's uh, synonymous with what? Poverty, that's also being forbidden. Also on there is what? Is divorce and disease. And you go down and here's all the other words that could be banned as well. It says here Google should be forced to censor search results as MPs says here, MPs and peers have urged the government to consider introducing legislation that would force Google to censor its search results to block material that a court has found to be in breach of someone's privacy. So I almost had to shake my head there. They're going to have a bill to block material to help your privacy. So school expels students for swearing on Twitter during non-school hours. So it's just really getting out of hand. Can't even say anything on there anymore. Olbermann out. Spitzer in current TV. So Olbermann has gotten the axe again. And it says here, uh, our, he may just be a uh, just a regular progressive too. I mean, I haven't really seen him in a long time, in like four years when I used to watch TV. But I think he's a real deal. He's just uh, kind of a liberal. Uh, I think he was even into some conspiracy theories. But I don't think he's a globalist. Army reservist who endorsed Ron Paul receives reprimand. So Army reservist gave a public endorsement of Ron Paul. Uh, receive a letter of reprimand for violating military politicking rules. Next up, we have uh, Roseanne Barr tweets George Zimmerman's parents' correct address. And this, of course, is after Spike Lee uh, basically gives the wrong address to someone else. People had to go in, uh, to a hotel basically in fear of uh, being killed. Microsoft censoring Windows live messenger chats under guise of fighting piracy. Track your car's whereabouts via OnStar family link so you got keep uh, track of your children, right, with OnStar. But remember, uh, On is basically the old ancient city in Egypt. Basically interprets the, the city of the sun. And, uh, yeah, as far as that goes, they were already doing it. So it's not like, you know, they just started it. And as if the RF frequencies of radiation isn't bad enough, would you wear a vibrating tattoo to get phone calls? And this is, of course, a story of information and all that, like the little health tattoo. 
and nothing is off limits as Google plans to spy on background noise and phone calls to bombard you with tailored advertising. New Samsung TVs have built-in HD camera microphones, face, and speech recognition. Patent awarded for behavioral recognition surveillance software system, which can track movements, spot fights, and other crimes.